God bless you, everybody. This is Troy Alexander. Today is November 21st, 2017. Father, we thank you for all that you've done. We give you praise. We give you glory. And we tell you thank you. No matter what's happening, we tell you thank you right now in Jesus' name. Just a scripture tonight want to share too. Coming from the book of Revelations, chapter 3, verse 8. And it says, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. But thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. The second verse, I'm coming from St. John chapter 10, verse 9, and it says, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in out, and find pasture. Number one, stop trying to build it, when what you need is already there. God said, I have set before you an open door. And no man, nobody can stop what God has already ordained. God said, your promise has already been written. God said, I just need you to get up and walk through the door. Stop trying to fix this and fix that when God said, it's already done. God said, it's already in place. Everything. He said, I am the way. The truth, what? And the light. Listen, everything that you need, God is. Number two, when you know where the access point is, get up and walk through it. When you know where what you need is, go to that. The Lord said, I am the door. Walk through me. Hold on to me. Give me praise. Whatever it is, I am what you need. God said, I am what? That I am. That's what he told Moses in the burning bush. He's the same God then, and he's the same God now. He said, I am that I am. Whatever you need, God said, I am. Stop trying to fix this and fix that. Don't worry about the windows. Don't worry about this and worry about that. God said, walk through the door. When you get through the door, everything going to be in place. As a matter of fact, God said, I got places for you that you ain't even built. I got wells for you that you didn't even dig. God said, it's already being done for you. When you get there, it's already in place. Number three, this house which is God's promise, has been founded upon a rock, which means that the storms and the wind has no power against it. And I got word for it. Go with me to Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 and 25. God said, because it was founded upon a rock, God said the wind blew and the waves came. But you know what? It didn't have no power and authority. There is nobody and nothing that's greater than who God is. God said, my word has gone out and it shall not return void. It cannot be stopped, and it cannot be blocked. That means your promise, your healing, your deliverance, and your overflow. God said it can't be stopped. You hold on to God. I don't care what's going on. You hold on to God, and know that it's already done. Be encouraged tonight. God said, let the winds blow. Let the waves go higher. God said, I've allowed you to walk through the water, and God said they won't overflow you. God said, and through the fire, and you won't be burned. How how can the Hebrew boys be in the fiery furnace and not be consumed? God said, I got you. Just like I got them, God said, I got you. Be encouraged tonight. Know that God is with you. And know that he has already made the way. He said, I've set before you an open door. God said that, that it cannot be shut. It cannot be blocked. So hold on to God. Be encouraged tonight. God bless you. We love you in Jesus' name.